Hey guys, welcome to Rock Like Hiking. This is Rock. I'm going to do a re review today on a Z Pack sleeping bag. This is the 40 degree Z Packs sleeping bag. I also have a 20 degree sleeping bag as well. They're the same thing, so I'm just going to do one review for both of them. This 40 degree weighs 14 ounces, and my 20 degree weighs 18.3 ounces. So they're super light. I'm going to go over just the basic. Um, construction of it. It does have a hook here for storage so I hang this in my gear closet which makes it great for the down. I don't um, keep it compressed or anything. It has a three quarter inch zipper if you can check this out from head to right about shin area. It also comes with these buckles on the top part by your neck just to keep it clasped together. The principle of this is you actually lay on the zipper. So the zipper will be on the bottom side just like that. This is um, medium wide. So I'm 5'9". So this fits perfect. This is a 5'9 bag also. So the medium is 5'9". But my feet aren't jammed into the bottom and it fits around my neck. So it fits perfect for me. So once I pull it around my neck you can cinch this up right here cinch this top up and you can see it, it circles right around your neck if you want to. I do wear a Ghost Whisper if it's cold enough um, for either the 40 or the 20 and what I usually do if it's really cold I'll zip it up to my neck and then I've got a balaclava that I put on the Z packs I'll do a review on also but if not I will usually zip this part around right up underneath my armpit so that way I can kind of move around at night. The thing I like about this better than a um, traditional mummy bag is that you don't feel as confined so when I toss and turn at night if I want to sleep you know on one side and I'm switched to my other side I don't have to worry about the bag being in my face or trying to turn the whole bag I can just transition right around in this bag no problem which makes sleeping a breeze um, so I, I, I really like this sleeping bag as far as the ratings go I had the 20 degree down to the low 20s on my last trip I think it was 21 or 22 degrees and that was right there at its limit so I would say the ratings are pretty good usually I always add about 10 degrees to each bag so I would say my 40s I've had, I, I can't say that's true because I've had my 40 down to right around 41, 42, and I was completely warm. The 20, like I said, I had it at 22, and I did feel, I was able to sleep, but it was like, it wasn't just like the best sleep I've ever had. So it was waking up in the middle of the night, trying to toss and turn, fluff the down around, stuff like that. But all in all, I would say this, um, for the weight and the price, this bag is incredible for me. I, I recommend this to anybody that's looking for an ultralight sleeping bag. Like I said, it's not the mummy bag, but I'm so glad I got away from mummy bags. I've grown up in mummy bags, so I'm really familiar with mummy bags. And this, to me, is just a way better sleep system than mummy bags. Um, I know some traditional people that are in mummy bags, they might not agree with that or, or something. It's just, for me, it was the smartest move I've ever made because even if, if I want a mummy, all I have to do is put my Ghost Whisper on and my balaclava and I've got a, a mummy bag pretty much. And so if I don't want to carry that extra weight, I'll just leave the, the balaclava at home um, or not put on my Ghost Whisper or not bring the Ghost Whisper. So I have a, there's a lot more variation with having a bag like this than a traditional mummy bag. Traditional mummy bag, you're always going to carry that extra weight of the hood if you use it or not. So this really saves a lot of weight and gives you a lot more versatility to me. Um, the down is amazing. I mean, the baffles, there's, there's nothing bad I can say about this bag. Um, and I usually try to pick my gear apart um, to find the bag, uh, different stuff, you know, to get the best I can buy. So... As far as just a great bag, I would definitely recommend this. This is Z-Packs. Um, I'm not sure on the price now. I've had this for the 40 for over a year now. So um, it's a great bag. Check them out. 
zpacks.com and make sure you subscribe to the videos um, subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more videos gear reviews as the days go along with all my ultralight gear thank you for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your day